Body cam video shows some of what led up to a Cranston cop firing a shot at a driver who refused her commands and fled. NBC 10's Kennedy Buck has that story tonight. Kennedy? Gene, the body cam footage is short, but the interactions seem clear. It starts off with the officer pulling up to the suspect's car on Reservoir Avenue, and what happens next leads to a gun being fired and an alleged injury. Shut the car off. Get out of the car. The people in this car, Michael Campagna and Megan O'Brien, are accused of shoplifting from a store at Garden City Center on Sunday. This footage shows the officer pulling up to their car and ordering them out. What is this about? Get out of the car. What is this doing? Get out of the car. Ma'am. Ma'am, get away from my car. Get rubbing you over. We then see the officer fire her gun while the vehicle is speeding away. Rhode Island State Police says the car ran over her foot, leading to treatment from a hospital. But in the video, we hear this. 207, he's trying to run me over. He's trying to his car. We're on the, the highway. I lost him heading towards Providence, 95 North. Now, whether the incident led to an injury is unclear. Law enforcement analyst Todd McGee says it all depends on the internal investigation. And in this particular case, the officer believed that the operator was going to run her over. She actually makes the statement uh, that the body cam picks up. McGee says it's now up to Cranston police to determine if a firearm was needed in this situation or not. This was a deadly force situation. Uh, volatile, you've got a motor vehicle, uh, an alleged crime that, that happened that brought the officer into place to begin with. So there's a lot of factors here, and this, this may go on for a little bit of time. Campania and O'Brien were both arrested two days later in Boston, and they face a number of charges. I reached out to Rhode Island State Police and Cranston Police to find out what is the status of this officer, and I'm still waiting to hear back. In studio, Kennedy Buck, NBC 10 News.